Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon and Kona. You might notice this is a different setup than my usual. I wanted to get her in the shot and she always likes laying down. She likes jumping on tables or anything elevated, so she's very comfortable up here. And of course I want her to be in this video because it's mostly all about her. A little update on Kona. I've had her for about a year now, a little over a year, and she is around two years old. Uh, she is an Australian Kelpie, and she is almost like 50 pounds. She's, I think she was 47 or 48 pounds last time we weighed her, which is quite a lot because when we got her, she was about 34 pounds. So she is fully grown and We've learned a lot about her since adopting her. I've had a lot of dogs before her, but she is definitely the most energetic dog that I've ever had. So it's been a learning experience and uh, we've worked on her walking a little through some training and also some anxiety that we've noticed she's had. A lot of you guys ask how Kona is doing, so I wanted to make a video and share some tips and DIYs that have helped me through my experience with her and maybe it will help you and give you some ideas for you and your pup. First thing I want to get into is all about toys. I think she sees herself in, t in the viewfinder of the camera. She is watching herself. A big thanks to BarkBox for sponsoring this video. I have been wanting to try their monthly subscription service for Kona and I finally got around to doing it because I think it will really help since she is an energetic dog. Energetic dogs go through toys like that. So I wanted to try it and I finally did and I'm going to share that experience with you guys. And since we teamed up for this video, they gave me a special offer to share with you guys and it's an extra free month of BarkBox on their six or 12 month plan. And you can get that offer. I will put a link in the video description below so you can see that offer down there and try it out for yourself. Kona is an energetic and smart dog. Her instincts are to herd and I don't have a bunch of sheep laying around. I don't have a farm for her to go and use her brain to herd sheep. So I have toys and exercise to keep her busy, but since she is that combo of energetic and smart, she goes through toys really fast and she gets bored with them. So I ordered her a bark box to try and it gets shipped to your door or PO box and Kona automatically thinks everything in the mail is for her. So she was very excited to get it. When you've subscribed to a plan, you get a new box every month with all natural treats and toys and they do adjust the things on the inside for your pet's allergies and chewing level. And all of the treats are all natural and grain free, which I do like because I give Kona grain free food. Kona is a medium sized dog, so I got the medium sized box. Every month is themed and this month it was themed world champions. She was super excited when we opened it up. She got a bouncy bone with dental rings, some snacks and a couple of toys with squeakers in them. She was really into this one toy. It's called Dog Paddling Dave. It's a swimmer and you can see his nice shiny speedos. She was totally in love with this toy. She was all about Dave. I wasn't sure how the quality of these toys would be and I am impressed that they are pretty durable. They're really thick, like they feel well made. All the toys and treats in this box will definitely keep her busy for a while. And again, if you want that offer code and you want to try it out for yourself, see that link in the video description below. Another thing I learned for toys for her is making a sock toy. If you can get the squeaker from your dog's toy before they destroy it, save it. Kona loves any of my fluffy socks, so I sacrificed a pair and I use those for a new toy. So what I do is I put the squeaker inside one sock and put it in the middle and then put that sock into the other sock. Keeping the squeaker in the middle, cut one of the ends so that it's not to the squeaker but just a little bit about to the middle because you're going to tie the ends in a knot and then repeat that on the other side of the toy. So make two cuts on the end on the outer sock and then use those two ends to tie in a knot. And then it's a brand new toy to Kona. It's an old pair of socks to me but it's a new toy for her and she really loves it. And it's a very cheap way to renew an old toy and make a new toy for your dog. And while we're on the subject of toys, if you get really frustrated with your dog rolling balls or other toys underneath your furniture, I have a really good DIY for that. It's a DIY under the furniture toy blocker and you can check that out right here. I will put that link in the description below too. Next, I wanna go over some things that I've learned while walking with her. This is such a no-brainer and you're, you guys are going to be like, well, duh, but it's so easy to just kind of forget about 
And I always tell myself when I'm walking out with Kona to always scan ahead. When we're walking, she will just find anything on the ground. I don't know what it is. And by the time I get up to where she is to see what it was, it's already gone. She's already swallowed it and I have no idea what she just ate. Always scan ahead and just get a clear view of what's in front of you. This is really easy to forget because we're always like on our phones while we're walking. I am guilty of that. I'll just be walking Kona and I'm just like looking at my phone and then just I don't see what she just gulped up. So to avoid your dog from eating harmful things outside, always scan ahead. Just keep that in mind. Another thing I found really helpful while walking her is a front harness. I've tried the back harness and she actually wants to pull more with that. And a trainer suggested this front harness. And it may look like the harness is on wrong, but it's not. It's just hooked in the front. You always want a loose leash when you're walking your dog. So when she goes to pull, the harness will either pull her right or left and it'll make her not want to pull. It will pull her in a direction that she doesn't want to go. So when she feels that tug, she no longer pulls and it's really helped with walking her. Another handy thing is this collapsible water bowl. When I go on walks, I'm usually going around water fountains or I already have a water bottle with me. So I just hook this onto her leash, onto her poop bag dispenser and I always have it there so that I can give her some water when we're going on long walks. And if you're interested in a collar DIY, I did make the collar that she's wearing. It's a paracord collar and I made a DIY video which you can make for a small to large dog. You can check that out right here. I've made a couple of these so far and they're super durable and I really do like that you can make different colors. So you can go check it out if you're interested in making your pup one. Next, I wanna go over some things that I've learned with dog anxiety. The number one thing for relieving anxiety is definitely exercise. So I usually go give Kona a, a nice big run and let her go get all the exercise out so that she doesn't have any more energy to be anxious when I leave her alone and she most likely just wants to sleep. Kona will often bark when I leave home without her, so she does have some separation anxiety, but I found that it's a lot less if I leave music playing when I leave. So I'll... <laughs> So I'll put the radio on on my alarm clock, I'll turn that on and then leave and I notice that she does bark a lot less when the music is on. I think it's because the dogs are focusing on something else rather than you leaving, so it just kind of gives some white noise for them. When it comes to thunder and loud noises like fireworks, she does have like some anxiety on that. I read that if you put some lavender scent in the air, it helps calm dogs down. So I have a lavender candle that I usually light when it's kind of stressful for her. Of course, I don't leave that going when I leave home. This is for when I'm home. And I can't really tell if it makes a big huge difference. I think it's just visual. If she sees me lighting it, she knows like, oh, it's time to like maybe lay down or it's like, it's quiet time. She really likes going into her kennel when there's loud noises or she's like scared. A lot of people think that it's kind of like cruel to put your dog into a kennel, but it's actually, it can be a really safe spot for your dog. So I just left her kennel up and she still sleeps in there and she goes in there for her safe spot. And to make it even more safe feeling, I put a blanket on top of it and it kind of makes her like a little cozy cave. She goes in there immediately on her own when she just feels like it or feels like being in a quiet place or especially when there's like thunderstorms. And some of you might recognize that bed in her kennel. It is a DIY dog bed and if you want to learn how to make that, you can check out this tutorial right here. Another method for relieving anxiety is with an anxiety vest. I don't have a vest, but the idea behind them is that they kind of wrap your dog and hug them and it makes them feel more secure. A DIY version of that is an anxiety scarf. If you have an old scarf that you want to use that works great for that, just make a wrap with it. You wrap it around the front of the chest to the back, cross the ends over and go down, cross it again underneath the chest, bring it up and tie the two ends together in a knot, but don't do it too tight. You of course want to give your dog some breathing room. This scarf is made out of stretchy material and I think that works even better because it kind of stretches with her body and if she feels stressed or anxious from all those loud noises, it seems to calm her down. I hope you found some of these tips and DIYs helpful for you and your pup. Of course, every dog is different, so I totally understand if not all of these are working for you. So if you have any other tips 
that maybe will help others in dog energy level or anxiety or walking, feel free to share your experience in the comments below. I would love to read them. Hit that like button and all of the links that I mentioned are in the video description below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel Sea Lemon for more DIY. You can check out another pet related video right here and be sure to follow me on my social links. I love connecting with you guys over there and so does Kona and I will see you guys next time. Say goodbye Kona.